So my name is Luis Barros. I'm a first generation immigrant, just like you guys here in Boston. Uh, but I've been here for quite some time. Uh, and my, uh, my focus is working with international programs out of uh, Latin America, out of Europe, and also out of Africa. I'm primarily uh, working with them in the area of acceleration, business development, as well as strategy. And um, it's been kind of interesting. We've created well over 100 companies. Um, most of them are seed finance, in my, primarily in the medical technology sectors, but also in the ICT and web. And I think we have probably uh, four years in, so we've probably got two or three more years to make them all work. Uh, so if we get 10% of those to work, I think we'll be happy. Well. Um, I like wine as a consumer. I think uh, just like anything else, anytime you look at established industries and you look at industries that are dispersed and probably confined to certain regions, there's probably a, a lot of opportunity to develop technologies to access consumers. There's probably technologies that can probably look at the production of wine. Uh, and I know that particularly in, in even a place like Portugal, we have some of the uh, fine wines in the world. And sometimes you walk into a store or walk into a region of the country, it's not there. That shouldn't be the case. I think all wine created anywhere should be available anytime, anywhere. Uh, one of the hard things about startup is focus. And uh, I, I love many things, and many things make me excited. But ultimately, to go deep in a startup arena, you have to really be in your ecosystem deeply. And it's very hard to manage the contacts, the investors, the people you need to get with in terms of corporations. So primarily, my focus has been in the medical technology side, both in life sciences, as well as um, med tech in terms of devices and diagnostics. And I, you know, once in a while, I do look at technology. So I've had, had some success in a new media space, internet. Um, and all those industries that establish industries that require innovation are pretty interesting. But those usually are coming out of corporate innovation as opposed to startup innovation. But you have to stay focused on those because, as you know, it's a big world. There's a ton of accelerators. There's a ton of entrepreneurs. And you have to go where you can add a lot of value and go deep. Uh, I think it's an impressive journey. It reminds me of two different things, either a, a, a rock star journey where you go from city to city and put on a concert or it reminds me of an invest, investment banking roadshow. But I think either way, I think you made a good point earlier. I think that's probably the way to do it. You go in these cities, you bring your brand, you show people that you're committed and you have fun and uh, people will learn a lot. You get to know the culture. Uh, so you immerse yourself each time. You go in and out and you pick great cities. I think the cities you've done the analysis seems to fit well with your sectors. And I think you'll derive a lot of value of that. And it's a distinguishing that you're doing it the way you're doing it with the bus and the branded bus and the companies. And it helps you as an investor. You let the consumer, you almost have a crowdsourcing element to it. You let the consumer and the markets tell you which companies are best. So at the end of it, you'll probably be able to make a very informed decision. So I think it's smart what you're doing.